So in previous lecture, we have learned about the different downlink channels, which are important for the initial access. And three of them are the primary synchronization signal, secondary synchronization signal, and the broadcast channels. Now, these different signals and channels are making the synchronization signal block and their place and their allocation is fixed within the frame which we have seen in the previous slide. So here we have seen that, okay, the PSS, which is purple, is fixed, green, which is secondary synchronization signal, which is fixed, and then we have broadcast channels, including the DMRS, which is in light and dark blue, which is also fixed. Now, these allocation, if you see from here, how many number of subcarriers that are allocated for PSS, ranging from 56 to 182. So it's around 126 uh, subcarriers that are allocated exclusively for PSS within a frame. And now in that case, this PSS and the SSS is used for the cell search procedure and identification of a cell by the user. So which cell they have to latch upon, they will first of all search for this PSS and SSS. And their location is, is fixed, so it is easy for user to identify it. And second, it is continuously transmitted by the base station. So if user will miss it, it can get it continuously every 20 milliseconds, which is very quick. And it keeps on, the PSS sends, there are three orthogonal sequences. So it will keep on sending one out of those three different orthogonal sequences. And SSS, which is continuously sending one of 336 binary sequences. So there are total different uh, PCI, which is a physical cell identity. So every cell is distinguished by itself. So uh, how does UE distinguish between these different cells, which are around or surrounded by that in a particular area? So that is done by the PCI, which is physical cell identity, which constitutes of PSS and SSS. So there are around 1008 PCIs available, unique PCIs that are available. So whenever we plan a network in 5G, we have to make sure that there is a unique PCI within certain area, and then we can use it after certain area. So if we look at the PBCH, it is the broadcast channel, which is carrying the system information, which is required by the UE to access the network. We have learned about it. And it's spanning across three of the OFDM symbols. So we have seen that, okay, PBCH is on OFDM symbol one, two, and three. And it carries around 240 subcarriers, but on one symbol, leaving an unused part in uh, the middle of uh, SSS. That is what we have seen here. So this is just primarily, you know, the synchronization signal block, which is very important for initial access. So we have a separate, you know, lecture for this one in that case. Thank you.